Hello friends, this is Sanjeev Kaushik. I recently released a video on my scalping cum intraday trading setup. And in that video, I mainly focused on trading on index or ETFs. However, the trading setup that I had shared, you can actually pick it up and also use for stock trading. So I realized that maybe I gave too much of importance on trading on index and ETF. So I thought that I should take an example and also explain how the same setup can be used for trading stocks. In fact, just yesterday, I was using my exact this setup to trade on TCS. So I thought I'll take the same example. So firstly, some of the properties that we discussed in that video. And if you haven't really visited that video yet, then I'll make sure that the same video would be flashing right now on the top right corner of the screen. So I would recommend you go ahead and check that video out and then come back over here because I'll be relating a lot of concepts from that video in this video. So we spoke about the magnetic and the repellent effect of VWAP. And within just one day, we saw the same effect playing out for TCS stock. So this section of candles over here signifies one day worth of trading session. As you can see, in these 15 minute candles, every now and then TCS was trying to go above the VWAP significantly, but because of the magnetic property of the VWAP, the stock was regularly coming down, right? And at some stage, the magnetic force was so strong that the stock ended up coming below VWAP and it could never breach those levels, right? So again, the property here was repellent property of VWAP, but the other feature of VWAP is also quite evident from here, and that is change of polarity. As you can see, as long as the stock was trading above VWAP, VWAP was kind of acting as a support the VWAP as a support was tested here in this candle and then in this candle. But then again, the stock tried to break out and tried to go as far away from VWAP as possible, but couldn't succeed, came down and then came a big bearish candle where the VWAP was broken decisively. And then a bullish candle, but VWAP was not breached. Even in the next candle, the VWAP was not breached and the stock kept going away from the VWAP. And some of the other key points that I noted while I was trading on TCS is that after this big gap down and this big red candle, there were two smaller size green candles, which were in a way signifying that there can be some kind of a reversal in place that we can expect for TCS, but that didn't happen. And after these two green candles, I saw this red hammer-like candle and it is called a hanging man candle. When you see a hammer-like structure like this that forms after a bit of an uptrend, then this actually signifies that we should be expecting a reversal on the direction. And this is exactly what happened. Even though the VWAP was doing its job properly, that is, it acted as a support during this session of 15 minutes, yet the candle itself was the bearish candle and the next candle confirmed that the bearish move is coming. And the two candles after that formed back-to-back -back dodges. You can argue that this candle was a bit of a hammer and one could anticipate that the downtrend may actually get arrested, which is exactly what happened. The next two candles ended up in green and significantly higher from the lower levels saw in these candle. But the next two candles again were back to back dodges. In fact, this candle here is a gravestone dodgy. You don't really want to see the upper wick that would make it a perfect gravestone dodgy but you can either call it a gravestone dodgy or it also looks like a hanging man. But the fact is, this was again a sign that the stock will not be able to breach these higher levels. And of course, 
you would also see that throughout the trading session these levels somewhat acted as a resistance these levels were tested three times in three back-to-back -back 15 minute sessions but the resistance was not breached these levels were never tested again and we saw that VWAP's magnetic property actually kept pulling the stock downwards. So I actually had gone bullish somewhere around these levels, 3717 and so on. And I was very much conscious of this resistance that has already been formed. So what I did is I was trailing my stop loss. And this is exactly what I had covered in my video. If I'm actually betting on a repellent property, because as the stock was going away from VWAP, I was betting on a repellent property. So I had absolutely no target in mind. All I had in mind was the trailing stop losses. So what I did is, let me just bring out my console and I'll show you how I traded. So this is my yesterday's session. As you can see over here, for TCS, I was able to enter at 3715 level and then I exited at 3720 levels. The overall profit was not really that great considering the quantity that I was trading with. But that's not the point. The point I'm trying to tell you is that I was actually stopped out of my trade because my trading stop loss was at 3720 level. Had I not done that, then as you can see, the stock consistently went downwards and eventually breached the VWAP and could never go above VWAP again. So the change of polarity started playing out alongside the repellent property of VWAP. But this time the stock was being repelled on the downward side. So that's how we trade. Sometimes the stocks do make very wild move and go very very far from the VWAP but it didn't really happen in the case of TCS yesterday so not really very big moves to capture and that's why I was trading in futures but to be honest I was expecting a bit of a recovery that didn't happen and because of all these bearish candles that were being formed or the trend reversal candles that were being formed I was very disciplined with my trailing stop losses and one last point before I wrap up this very small video is the ADX. The ADX actually kept going up, which means even when the stock was going upwards, the momentum was really strong. That in a way was telling me that maybe this resistance will be breached. But we also saw back to back direction reversal scandal happening, right? First candle was this one, the hanging man, the other one was this one you can call it a hanging man or you can call it a gravestone dodgy but in a way these two candles were signifying that maybe there's not enough strength and even the volumes were not that high on a downtrend the volumes were increasing but not really on an uptrend yeah so this is all that i wanted to cover in this video and this is exactly how i keep a track of how the asset is trading and look to take a position so I hope it is much more clear and was informative for you guys. Thank you. Let me know in comments how you found this strategy. Until then, bye.